This week we visit our local botanical garden with Henry, work on our backyard mountain bike trail, and we go check on the RV before our next trip, only to find out the ceiling's leaking again. RV, so... Hi, we're Paige, Casey, and Henry Wilder, an adventurous trio from the Ozarks of Northwest Arkansas. Join us as we explore in our motorhome and in our own backyard as we seek out authentic travel experiences and ways of living for our small family of three. We're going to a plant sale. We're going to the plant sale and lots of too many plants. We're gonna buy lots of too many plants. Casey wanted to ride our bikes to the plant sale and I was like, I don't think I can fit enough plants in the milk crate. That was, she like short circuited my plan, which was that. Can't buy too much shit if we're on the bikes. There's a reg. And it's being chased by a jeep and a boat. I guarantee that crew's rolling together. They're, they're having fun. Getting gas. When we pulled up to the botanical gardens, there was some sort of sweet 4x4 Sprinter van rig, like maybe a Storyteller Overland or a Winnebago Rebel, but I didn't get a chance to talk to the guy they drove off right before I could get over to him. What are you doing up here? I'm being a horse. You're being a horse at the top of the barn? I don't think horses get at the top of the barn. Do you want me to help you down? Yeah. All right. Don't let me forget it. Put your hands that way. Turn your body that way. Yep, because we're going to turn around and get down. We're going to step our foot right here. Okay? I got you. Okay. Okay. You got it? Alright, use your own arms and legs. Come on down. You found the crow's nest? I found it. Whoa! So cool! It's so echo. It's echoey in here. Is that a fairy house? Yeah. No, you're in a bird's nest. Yeah. Are you a bird? Yeah. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> no, I'm in a bird's nest. I can't push him away. <laughs> You're inside the train. Yeah. <laughs> okay. oh, no plants, no success. Or success, if the wallet is asking, yes, right? Yes, depends, depends on your perspective. Henry, would you like some peanut butter and jelly? Yeah. Here you go. And then we'll decide whether to do that first or whatever nursery we want to go to. Snack first. Nursery, There's multiple types of nurseries, but the type we're talking about is a place where plants are grown. It's a plant store. It's a super pretty day, so we are back at our trail building experiment. Back on the bike trail. It was pretty rainy. You can see how this is sloppy. Hopefully with the leaves off of it, the sun will dry it out. Super sloppy. Look, Henry, we basically have a creek going right here. It's, it's, it's recording. Is it? Yes. It's, well, you got it backward, dude. It's up against your forehead. Oh. Look. Look, Henry. The glass part here, that's where it records from. Oh. So you hold it like that to record, okay? You're doing a head style? Yeah. It's like you have a head cam on. I'm pretending that the moment's on it. Excellent. Help move these sticks out of the trail. The trail is going to come right through here. Nice. Oh, 
obstacle. Can we lift it and get the rest of it? Or do you think you need to come cut it? Hey, you want to come with me to get the chainsaw? Or are you want to stay here with mom? All right, Henry and I are going to go get the chainsaw. He probably wants his bike. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Do you like having trails in your own backyard? Yeah. Pretty sweet. I don't know if we've shown it yet on the channel, but the reason why we don't have the RV up to the house yet is because of the driveway down here. I don't think the camera will do justice. I know the RV does not have enough ground clearance, especially down there at the bottom where these big ones are. It'll totally just scoop its nose against the ground. So this has to be repaired, which could be graded, we have to fix the root problem of what's causing it. And we had a really big rain two nights ago and we got up to leave in the morning and we could just see all these washed out spots and it's really bad up here. Look at all the gravel that's washed off of our road. And it just dug a freaking trench right down our driveway. And it all comes back up to right here where you can see the main ditch where all of our water comes down behind the house right here as well as just a natural uh, wash right here and it drains across sort of and down this way well look at this shit I don't know if you can tell I've been hacking at this thing with a metal rake for half an hour better off using a shovel but I did get some water flowing through here, but there's the pipe right there. So I'm just digging this all out to clear the flow. This is probably multiple years worth of buildup. So hopefully it keeps the driveway from turning into that down there at the bottom. There's no point in fixing that if we don't fix this. Okay, we sort of had success. Look, Henry, the water's flowing under the driveway again. Do you see? That's right, it goes under the driveway this way instead of over the driveway because look, it tears up our driveway and now we can't get the RV up the hill. That's why we gotta fix our drainage. Hello! We're gonna go check on the RV in storage. I've been meaning to grab the hammocks out of the storage bins. Yeah, here we go. Man gate. I feel like it opened for us one time. Oh, they have like when someone's at the front. Yeah, know, like after you went through in the RV, they opened it. I'm not sure. There it is. Still here. Keep looking. There it is. I see the ladder. And there's the door. You gonna check us for leaks? Check yeah. us after for all leaks. that rain. We had some serious rain and check the batteries which have just been being topped off for days and days by the solar charger. Yeah. Let me pull some loads. Okay. Let's do it. You want to get out, Henry? Yeah. Are we getting into the camping stuff? Is that what we do? Yeah, I want the hammocks and straps because we can hang them at the new house and hang out. And we don't need these sleeping bags that for some reason aren't in the here. camping stuff. That'll be fun with all the trees we have. Excuse me. He's very sleepy. He's doing pretty good. How is it, Henry? Look in here. Dry? Yeah. Good. We got a trip coming up in a couple weeks. We're gonna go to Hot Springs. Feels it's good. Got such a vibe to it, man. You just come in and you relax. The smells. It just smells like plywood in here. You see, the people who watch, they don't know the smell. Oh, there's it a had smell. A smell when we got it. 
There's, there's a, new a new smell. smell. There was also a smell that time we made curry that lasted like a week the curry or five. There's just it's a little stuffy in here, but it's just it's this plywood. It's this um, that wax based finish that I put on these. It all kind of blends together. Yeah. The new flooring. It's kind of like a new house smell in here almost a little bit. It's new house mixed with old car. Looks like Henry put his own shoes on. Yeah. Wrong feet. It's good. Yep, everything looks good. The bathrooms, the bathrooms, the thing to check if you're worried oh, yeah, about. Check the oh, your uh, ceiling looks rough, but I don't know how it looked before. It looked rough before, and I don't think it'll ever fully recover. Oh, no, that's way worse. Yeah. That's way worse. It's still leaking from somewhere. Awful. Awful, awful, awful. Dang. Well, we got more right. more rain. We got like unprecedented rain and there's not like standing water in the RV, so that sucks. We're not in like the worst shape. Everything looks as should be. What about back here? I've always wondered how related the moisture up there is to the moisture back here. This feels good. Or who knows? That's too bad. Our roof situation here is bad. Yeah. Guess what? I get to redo that ceiling again. Well, you did such a good job. The first time. That's crazy, man. When we put the new fan in. I know. You really you sealed, sealed it up. It what are you thinking, Henry? Look at that big blue RV. That's a cool one. That's a mobile art studio. It's called the Wheel Mobile because they do wheel thrown pottery. What's pottery? It's like clay stuff. You ever build things with clay? Yeah. Yeah. That's what they do on that RV bus. It's climbing. What do you say? It's someone from the outside. It said, it said, it's someone from the outside, Mom. Okay. Maybe it's not, not from the inside. No, it's not. It's a leak somewhere. All right. I could not find it. Bye bye, RV. We'll see you soon. It's doing good. It's in good shape. Look who we got, you guys. Get the passion fruit something. Passion fruit something. And uh, mint limeade. And they're like slushy. I'm so excited. Mm, and Indian food. And Indian food. Yay! I'm, I'm so hungry. I have to eat something right now. Well, Aww. let's go home and eat. I know we've vlogged food a lot, but I don't think we've ever vlogged takeout. Chicken tikka masala, paneer, something, paneer roll, I think they called it. Taco, Indian taco. <laughs> Henry, this way. We have got to go fix this leak on the roof of the RV, but it's May 1st, so if you're watching this video like when it came out yesterday, um, it's the very last thing we're doing before we crank out a video for you all. Let's go get this done because there's about to be another big rain tonight. And uh, it's bike month now, May 1st. Paige talked about it, so it's about to be dark. And I said, hey, let's ride the e-bikes down to we'll load up all of the repair stuff in the bags and ride down to the storage building and we'll see how that goes. So here we go. <laughs> Always keep your sealants in the RV. Pick that up. <laughs> Is that 
He's looking at me, not the camera. <laughs> Y'all too. <laughs> I didn't realize I was riding with that. Always keep your pump gun and your bike. <laughs> keep a level too. people have to do that in three phases. <laughs> Henry wondered how you got your tools up there last time we were here. We've gotten so much shit up here, plus camera equipment. I know. Okay, so we think the hole is not where the hole on the inside is. Well, it's possible. It's weird to me that I've redone all of this because I put a new fan in and the leak would be in the same spot, but the leak is right here, okay? Now look, there's like one, two tiny holes right here that could be the problem and a little gap right here. Yeah, I'll fill those up. And then the next thing we're looking at. Maybe there's a hole somewhere. Exactly, see, because there's little, there's, little, there's little cavities that run north-south in between the foam. You've seen them from the inside when stuff's cut out. There's a crack in this field. A little bit up there. But I mean. But look, I brought the level. It's perfectly level, so stuff that leaks up there won't run back to here. Well, it's another pocket. Take great either. Wow, look how pink the sky is. Alright. I'm gonna really look for that's just bird poop. Isn't there a sealant you can paint on the whole roof? Yeah, this whole thing needs to have a bucket of rubber dumped on it, for sure. I've just been doing this to so those little spots. Yeah. See, I've done a few over there. It's weathered. We should paint something funny up here for the drone. This shirt got a hole one time and I patched it with a hedgehog. <laughs> Guys, look at all these work trucks and dirt piles. You know, we're people that are all about Getting a good usable life out of something, but knowing when to move on. So this won't be our RV forever, we know that. And to whoever buys it next from us. Sorry about some of the ceiling jobs. Because I should just be redoing this whole thing, but I don't have that many tubes to see what. So it looks good. That's not what we're here for today, Casey. Don't worry. For. This one could use a Titan. Well. I'm going to pick this up. I promise everyone I'm not littering. But... I don't want to climb down with that thing. It's a threat to my clothing. All right, ready to get down? Yeah, watch your step. Hard mode. Awkward. Put hot lava right by the ladder. <laughs> but check out that sunset, y'all. I know. Dang. Okay, I'm gonna get my food. Oh yeah. Don't fall. <laughs> Got a pair of Ray-Bans in there. Don't touch it. I was looking everywhere for these. We've been in there this whole time. Well, for like two days. We don't bump the RV because the Sorry. camera might fall. <laughs> Another oh, week. Yeah. We have an RV trip coming up in a couple weeks, so you guys are going to get to see more RV travel so soon. That's yeah. why we're getting it ready and, and keeping it ready to roll. I think we're going to just go ahead and make it like kind of an epic trip. We had two trips, but we think we're going to combine gonna the trips. Mash we're going to do one family trip, and then we're going to get down to the Gulf like we talked about. Yeah however many videos ago so that's exciting we take the e-bikes it's gonna be a blast yeah we closed on the old house it's done yes oh, we're yeah. we're very excited on finishing up stuff at the new house but we're super eager to travel with the old house closed we're getting out of here soon you might get one more video before we leave maybe two maybe two we'll see what happens but uh it's coming up soon by the end of may in the meantime we got more bikes to do more bike trails to build and uh we'll see you guys next week Bye. Bye. It's probably how to deal with this soon. <laughs> that. We paid our sales tax. For those of you watching from the Arkansas Department of Revenue. And we've never driven it. Not once. It's been parked here in storage since the day we bought it.